Blood. We need to be careful. It's not her blood. Here, let me help you. I will be fine, thank you. Andrew, where is he? He has taken Eddie. I, I tried to stop him, but he struck me. Me. There was a madness in his eyes. I do not understand what is happening. First Eddie, and now Andrew. Open your eyes. See your husband for what he really was. A pawn of evil. An evil that infected and corrupted every life around him. How dare you speak about my Edward like that? Or about the family he protected all his life? He was a man like no other. That he was, though not in the way you think. I will not hear another word from you about my husband. We don't have time for this. Look in the desk in the old wing if you will not believe us. Uh, she might know more. We need to talk to her again, without attacking her. Oh, of course. You're right. You will need to stay calm when we talk to Lady Margaret again. I know, I know. She's just so... Infuriating, yes. But we need to know everything her husband might have revealed to her. Agreed. This isn't him. No, my Edward couldn't have written this. It's marked somewhere around Australia or Tasmania. What does the mark mean, do you think? I'm not sure. But I think I've seen a similar globe in the master study. Listen to me, Lady Margaret. This is important. Rory said there is something unresolved between my father and I. Do you know what he meant? I didn't know your father as well as I would have liked. I'm sorry, I... This is not the time for secrets, Lady Margaret. Just look at what this has brought us. I'm sorry. All that is happening... It makes no sense. All I can tell you is that your father was obsessed with the model of the castle in the master study. I have avoided that room for years. Do you know how Andrew got through the passage in the fireplace? No, I don't know. I thought I heard him sneaking about the Great Hall before he came into Eddie's room, but I cannot be sure. How do you feel about your darling husband now? David, that's not helping. My Edward wouldn't. He couldn't have written this. It must have been Andrew, or young Eddie. Yes, yes, that's who it was, not Edward. Not my Edward. I know this is difficult to hear, but there is a madness cursing through the Gordon bloodline, and you know it. You've seen it tear our family apart. Andrew is the outcome of this madness, the result of what your husband did to Cecilia. No. He would have never touched her. Never. Would you like to sit down, Lady Margaret? No, no. I'm all right. It's just... He was always good to me. He did love me. In his way. We need to get moving. 
Andrew could be doing anything to Eddie right now. Young Eddie doesn't deserve this. You need to save him. We'll try. You have our word. Is there anything you know about your husband? Something that could help us save Eddie's life? I don't know what it is, but I do know that Edward considered it valuable. what had to be done for our family. What else could I have done? Final part. We need to get moving. Andrew could be doing anything to Eddie right now. Stop your whining! You are seeing something again, aren't you? Yes. Give it back! You, you, you killed her! It's your fault! So that's why he buried it in Cecilia's grave. Switch. He's in the grip of the mirror. What did you see, David? My father. Uh, and Edward, he... It's all right. Take your time. Margaret covered up the fact that Edward didn't die by accident. He was murdered. Murdered? By whom? My father. All this time. Trying to prove my father wasn't mad. That every man in the Gordon family isn't destined to become a murderer. But that's exactly what he was. He was only a child. Maybe the mirror drove him to it. It did. I saw, I, I saw the darkness take hold of him. But does it matter though? Like Rory said, it doesn't wash away the guilt. Sooner or later I will be shedding innocent blood too. Your father? Are you sure? He would have only been a child then. I am sure. Then yes, he was. Lady Margaret sent him to boarding school soon afterwards. She was scared of him. And I suppose that's why she was afraid of me too. I shouldn't follow Andrew down there. I could end up a monster like every Gordon before me. And you should go. Just get yourself away from all this. Nonsense. You're the only one who can stop Andrew. You're armed with the knowledge your father never had. And remember, he did everything in his power to protect you. He sacrificed himself. 
He saw the horrors on the other side and still did it. Now that you know the things that happened to him when he was a child. <sighs> you are right. He wasn't the father I needed in life. But in death, he gave everything for a mere chance to protect me. I forgive you. Thank you for everything. Now let us stop this madness once and for all. Here's another one. Like the one in the old wing, but the marking runs through Spain. Like the one in the old wing, but the marking runs through Spain. We need to get moving. Andrew could be doing anything to Eddie right now. Yes, perfect. It. Look. A stone plate full of ancient symbols. <laughs> <laughs> 